Item Number SCP-6526 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-6526 is to remain in a standard anomalous item locker at Site-83. Ingestion of SCP-6526 is strictly forbidden. Failure to adhere to this procedure will result in termination. Description SCP-6526 is a glass bottle containing an apparently infinite amount of a black, slightly carbonated beverage. Despite having an exterior label reading Coca-Cola, chemical analysis of the substance has revealed that it's comprised primarily of ethanol, calculated at 190 proof. Footnote 1. Alcohol proof is a measure of the content of ethanol, or alcohol, in an alcoholic beverage. Taste analysis by D-Class during the initial containment of the object has revealed the substance tastes similar to standard Coca-Cola or Pepsi mixed with coconut rum. Discovery SCP-6526 was discovered following an investigation into several public intoxication reports in Pennsylvania. Foundation agents embedded in the local police force were able to successfully identify the culprit, Dominic Nelson. Nelson's cadaver was found at the entrance to an apartment complex in and autopsies identified the cause of death to be subdural hematoma. Footnote 2. A common result of falling from areas of high elevation. On Nelson's person was a jewelry gift box, unsigned divorce papers, a severely withered journal, a pacifier with traces of human blood, and SCP-6526. Recovered Journal. Foundation agents investigating Nelson's private life found several references to SCP-6526 written in the journal found on his person. I went to my first AA meeting today, and my accountability buddy suggested we keep a journal to track our thoughts throughout the days. Says it's a good way to keep track of our mental health. I think he's full of it, but I want to get better, you know? For Emily. I can't believe she's a week old already. Sheila and I celebrated with a photo shoot. Wish I could show the group. Maybe I will, if I ever go back there. I had a sip of that drink again today. More than a sip, honestly. It's like it never runs out, and the smell… but no. I can't afford to think about it again. Not after I almost dropped Emily. I'm never drinking again. Sheila found the bottle. Threatened to divorce me if I don't get my shit together. I told her to let me figure my own shit out. Not sure if that was the alcohol talking or me. But it's too late now. On top of that, I nearly forgot Emily turned a month old today. Sheila took her from me when I tried to pick her up and give her a kiss. Told me my breath smelled like booze. What does she know? Bitch. I think I deserve to treat myself, given current events. Just one more sip of that coke and rum. Then I'll start taking this more seriously. Emily looked at me and smiled for the first time. She's got just the cutest baby girl grin I've ever seen in my entire life. Her entire hand is barely big enough to wrap around my pinky finger. I'd give anything for her. We were talking about sacrifice at the meeting today. A couple of the fellows were going on about selling their cars and playstations for booze, and I was disgusted. Is this how far down the hole I've gone? I'm not gonna let this shit control me anymore. I just need one more drink, and then I'm off it. For good. Just one more. Additional page. The following page was discovered folded into one-fourth its original size in the back of the recovered journal. I'm sorry, Sheila. I truly am. I never meant to hurt you. Or Emily. I hope you know that. I was drunk and I'm sorry. I don't have any excuses anymore. I love you, and I hope you can find it in yourself to forgive me. Don't tell Emily how I went. She's far too young to know. Just tell her daddy went grocery shopping with the big man in the sky. Love, Dom. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.